Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Although some of these accounts are fictional, and others may be an exaggerated reality, none of them are too far from the truth of what really happened back in those days. If you are enjoying our stories, please do subscribe to this channel. We will be posting many more stories as time goes by. When I was growing up, I spent the summers working on my aunt's farm. My uncle had passed away a couple of years before and she continued to run the farm with a combination of hired hands and young relatives, like myself. It was a huge old farmhouse and normally there would be about eight or nine of us, equally divided between boys and girls, spending the summer with her. One thing was sure she ran a very tight ship, and while we had fun there, we also knew that if we strayed from the straight and narrow, we would suffer the consequences, no matter how young or old we were. Punishments were always given in the same way. The offenders were told their fate and after dinner, they would assemble and stand against a pantry wall and wait for their chastisement from my aunt. When she was ready, my aunt would come into the kitchen and remind us all of our transgressions. In random order if there was more than one of us to receive punishment, my aunt would call us over to where she was sitting, on an old, heavy wooden kitchen chair. She would place us over her knee. If there was more than one of us being punished, we would all witness the others being spanked as it was an added deterrent. The implement of her choice was a big wooden spoon almost the size of her hand. The strokes were always aimed at where your bottom met your thighs, and were administered with maximum force, creating a loud a smack upon contact with our bottoms. Tears usually followed the first six or seven swats. Once the spanking was over, we would be escorted to the wall near the pantry and remained facing it for at least 30 minutes. We usually went to our rooms with tear-stained faces for the night and I always slept on my stomach after a smacking. The punishments my aunt handed out were a huge deterrent and over an entire summer, I only got one or perhaps two at the most. The combination of a sore bottom and the embarrassment of it all kept us well-behaved, productive and responsible for our actions.